The Biden administration on Thursday said it would invest $140 million into artificial intelligence research. The news came just before Vice President Kamala Harris met with executives from Google's parent company Alphabet, chat GPT creator OpenAI, Anthropic, and Microsoft at the White House. The group discussed the importance of responsible AI development and reducing the risks of technology. For more on this, I am joined by Kat Zakreski. Kat, what's the $140 million going to go to? So this $140 million is going to go to AI institutes across the country housed within various universities that will research how to safely and responsibly deploy artificial intelligence. And these centers will evaluate a variety of different AI tasks, including the climate, public health, and um, also democratic institutions. And I should note, Kat, that you are a policy reporter at The Washington Post, a mistake that AI would not have made if it had my job, which leads me to this question. Uh, we're, there's a writer's strike going on right now where they are worried about, uh, entertainment writers are worried about um, AI taking their jobs. How much were jobs a part of this conversation at the White House? It was a piece of this conversation. The White House is very concerned about the broad societal risks that AI poses. So they're thinking about the threat that AI poses to civil rights, to jobs, and also to um, issues around uh, elections and other democratic institutions. So jobs were certainly a part of this discussion and one of the reasons we see Washington policymakers so motivated on this issue of AI. Uh, Vice President said that the administration is committed to ensuring Americans safely benefit from artificial intelligence. We can think about the, the horrors, but what does it mean to safely benefit from artificial intelligence? And how useful or good is the government going to be at making sure that that's possible? So that's one of the focuses that we've heard from the Biden administration again and again is that their North Star is to understand how people could benefit and improve their lives using AI while minimizing some of those risks and harmful effects of AI. And so, um, you know, when you talk about the possible benefits, you see how it could make it easier to do simple tasks at work or um, perhaps help you figure out a new workout routine or new recipes. There's a lot of potential benefits. I think it still remains to be seen, though, how the government government will help people harness that. Um, one of the ways that the government is attempting to do that is by putting out guidance um, for agencies on how they should use AI day to day in their work. And what was the response from uh, those who visited the White House or who work in this field to what the White House has been saying? So far, we haven't heard much response from the companies. They've largely declined to comment on the meeting. Um, we did hear um, from one company, Anthropic, um, the co-founder called it a productive discussion and said that they were honored to be at the White House. And what do you expect is the next? Uh, you know, often what happens is there is a meeting at the White House and some things are said and then that's it kind of goes away. Other than guidance being given to the agencies, what what's your sense of how this next bounces from the administration or the executive branch on staying on top of the developments which are moving so quickly in artificial intelligence. So my sense is that AI is an issue that's not going away in Washington, and it's one where we'll likely see more action in Congress in the coming weeks and months. Um, the Biden administration expressed support for legislation in its statement today about this meeting. And so likely in terms of next steps, we'll see um, you know, various lawmakers start to move more on rules to govern this new technology. Already, Senate Majority Leader Schumer has been circulating a framework for a proposal that he says aims to balance uh, preserving American innovation while minimizing some of these risks with AI. But of course, as we've discussed tonight, that's easier said than done. Indeed. Kat Sikreski with The Washington Post, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me on the show.